Good morning and welcome to today's edition of the Great All Saints Pancake Off. In today's show, we see our pancakers calculating the best way to approach today's challenge. And some things just struggle to add up. Over to our pancakers to find out more. Hey All Saints, it's Meg. Uh, I am ready to make you some pancakes, so we're gonna see how this goes. Do not open until you're filming. Thanks so much for being part in our first great All Saints pancake off. Your challenge is make and decorate a pancake with the same amount of ingredients as years you've been alive. So Annabeth, you're gonna to need to find three other ingredients. And Sarah, how many other ingredients are you gonna to have to find? Six. I wish I was younger. Um, okay, okay, make and decorate a pancake with the same amount of ingredients as you've been alive. So I gotta, I gotta find some ingredients. Better run upstairs, there's some ch chocolate on my bed. I am gonna make American style pancakes because I am American. Let's see how many ingredients are in this. Blackberries. Blueberries, I think. What are those? I've never heard of a red well, now you have flour, baking powder, salt, caster sugar, milk, that's five, eggs, uh, butter. Okay, so that's only seven. So I somehow need 21 more ingredients. Um, I need to think of six. Can I count each, like, each egg as an ingredient? I think I'm gonna have to, so that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know what to add to it. I can add bananas, I can add sprinkles, I can add chocolate chips, I can add bacon. Those don't go together. Oh goodness. On Bake Off, they get all their ingredients for them. You don't have to come up with it. Ugh. Yeah, these are gonna be disgusting. Can I make pancakes for myself and then make other pancakes? Some chocolate sprinkles. Ooh, we've got some more. I can add some spices. That could work. Salt. This number eight. I can add a little bit of oil. These are all normal. I would need to come up with fun ingredients, but I've got a long way to go. Do I have any marshmallows? Okay, so toppings are gonna be sprinkles, chocolate, syrup. Chocolate chips, also Nutella. Okay, I'm up to 15. I'm so old. Oh, I can add some vanilla to the batter, so that can be. You have to pour in. Thank you. So here's my dry stuff 225 milliliters of milk. Should I put some chocolate chips in these pancakes? Yep. Right, what does the next step say? Egg time, let's go. Crack my egg, number one. Alright, egg number two. Egg number three. All separate ingredients, friends. Each egg has its own identity. Alright, I'm gonna whip those up a little bit. Milk, then milk, milk, milk. Get some milk. That's it. That's it. Got our butter, that's some coolies. Is that what you guys call it? Grill? Mm -hmm. When you're measuring salt, do it in the sink 
so instead of the bowl that you're using so that you don't um, overfill. That's it, that's too much. So we've got our egg milk butter. Now we're gonna add the flour, sugar, baking powder, salt. So make sure. You can cook up that mix in. Let me add a little bit of vanilla. Let's check that off my ingredient list. What else do I say is going to add? It's not making it back with cream and vegetables. So, I could add chocolate at this point. I think I'm going to wait until I'm decorating, though. Okay, in the making of pancakes, rule number one is the first one is always terrible. So we're going to make one, and then we're going to make the one we're actually going to decorate. All right. wondering whether you need to do 19 because you you've been alive for 19 years all together between you so that's Keep a challenge together, you've isn't it? My age. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Right. So let's see, Sarah. So one pancake, five ingredients so far. Yes. Just put it on. It's a little burnt too burnt, but she's bigger. Oh, nice and steamy. We got a great spot of white. So you're gonna get a strawberry on it, so that's seven. Oh. So let's see. Bacon, cinnamon, boring. Got to be better than that. Peanut butter. Said it earlier that it might not taste good, but we're we're past the point of that. Why no? Why no? Why no bars? That's nine. Um, we can do some icing sugar. A nice dusting. That'll be good. Some four more grams. What are they gonna be? I'm just looking in all my drawers for like random ideas. Is that eight or nine? We're five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, that, oh, nine. Nine. that's nine. Okay, because you've got sugar on there. Um, let's see. There's some raisins. Alright. Guys, I'm totally at a loss of what would not be totally gross. Yogurt. So that's ten. So I have to put a spoon of the yogurt on it. That's ten. Okay, cream. That's a good one. Double cream. That was a lemon juice. How do we feel about that? Am I trying to be too culinary with this? I'm trying to. I'm trying to earn the respect of bakers everywhere. That's eleven. Annabeth. Yeah. Annabeth adds to that. So you've managed to do eleven. Now if Annabeth can manage to do eight as well, different ones. That's it. So oh, we're so bored. Let me get in. Okay. Sarah's already got eleven. One more ingredient. What should it be? How do we feel about two types of M&Ms? Here's what we have to do. So anything you add, if you add the same as her, we need to add another eight. Should I about my age? Here we go. It's decorating time. What? Do you need some help? What? Is that? Oh, I think I'm done one because there's already salt in the recipe. What's that? Pineapple. Pineapple, okay. Strawberry. That's number 12. I like strawberry. Here we go. So, strawberry jam is 13. Okay, so flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, milk, egg, egg, eggs, butter. And then I added in oil and vanilla. Ginger, sprinkles, chocolate chips, syrup, Nutella, granola, honey, pecans, M&M's regular, M&M's crispy. Okay, that's 10. So if you put a slice of apple and some apple sauce, that's 15. 11 is bacon, cinnamon, peanut butter, icing sugar, raisin, raisins, raisins, raisins. Go green, lemon juice, ginger, and that's it. Right, we have flour, salt, eggs, We have milk, chocolate, cream. We did it! Yo! Yeah. <laughs> so gross, here we go. We have pineapple, apple, apple sauce, strawberries. Okay, I'll take a bite. I made a total mess. We also have strawberry jam, sugar, blackberries, chocolate sprinkles. This is a great one, my friend. We have red currants, raspberries, blueberries. Cheers. Not bad. And we have tangerines! That's pretty good. I'm pretty proud of my dog. This has been baking with Meg. Now you can eat them. The judges have deliberated. And they have taken into consideration that potentially today's challenge may have been more difficult for one of the teams taking part. And with that in mind, they have awarded today's star baker to Meg. Good job, Meg. I know, I can't believe it. Uh, I mean, there's just so many great bakers. Uh, so I'm just, I'm, I'm honored. I, I just can't believe it was me. Uh, I tried my best and it worked out for me this time. So yeah, I'm grateful to the judges and uh, for everyone I got to meet along the way.
It's a really fun experience. Great job, Sarah and Annabeth. We were all very impressed with your pancake making skills today. And we do not want you to feel in any way disheartened uh, that you are not today's star pancaker. We thought you did a brilliant job. We just thought with, with Meg's 28 ingredients that today she deserved the win. But you guys did such a brilliant job. Well done, guys. Well done, Meg. Great job. Join us tomorrow for the next edition of the Great All Saints Pancake Off. And why not try, try your own, try your own challenge. Send us in pictures, send us in videos, and let us know what you are getting up to. Join us tomorrow.